What's up guys, it's Dolmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to a, another big Bungie video. So this one is Pokimane Band. Uh, so obviously this didn't happen. This is from two years ago. I'm not sure what this is specifically about. Um, but yeah, you, the, the, a lot of these big streamers, unless they say something that's uh, not politically allowed, you, you never see them get banned, right? It's... Uh, you know, rules for me, not for thee. Or rules for thee, not for me, sorry. Uh, and then, yeah, especially when it's a um, good-looking female streamer because Twitch staff tends to be very simpy and they'll just let them away with, like, clear violations of uh, the community guidelines and stuff like that. But anyway. Oh, goddamn. Uh, anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. I don't understand how they got away with this whole meta. This still blows my mind. They were literally just watching TV. And, and a lot of them would literally just put it on. And they don't even interact with it anyway, right? Hassan, pretty infamous for this, uh, which is exactly like this right here, where he'd just, you know, play something and leave the stream for like a half hour, 45 minutes, go do whatever. And he's just playing a video. And it's like, it's like how, how do you get away with that? It's like, oh, well, you know, he's... He's uh, aligned with the right people politically, so they don't want to get rid of him. And also, he's, you know, uh, a Twitch staff wants to associate with him, right? It's Again, it's the, the biggest problem I have with this kind of stuff, it's not that they do it, right? I, I could care less. It's that if anyone did it that was not either politically aligned with them or not as big, they would instantly remove them, and justifiably so. There's a pretty infamous... Uh, I, don't know, I don't really know how many people know this, but there's a, there's a big one in the the mma ufc community a while ago where this guy was pretending he just streamed the ufc event and was pretending to play it uh trying to play the game while he just streamed the entire pay-per-view live on his twitch account and he was banned and I, I i think the he ended up going to court with the ufc or is currently in a case i'm not entirely sure what ended up happening there which to be fair that's not twitch that's another company taking him for that um but yeah like the, the fact that he was instantly banned and yet you have Hassan and Pokemon and all these people that did this for, in some cases, months on end, no repercussions. Still fucking sucks. True. We're experiencing a universal phenomenon right now. Drama is wrapping back around. A couple of weeks ago, we had the Wake Up YouTube 2, and now we're getting Twitch versus Copyright 2. If things keep going like this, you know what's next, right? One of the text messages of note is the one where she says, Two fingers? More like... <laughs> Pokemon fist and drama. Unironically, oh, I hope it happens again. <laughs> that was the funniest drama in years. In a time oversaturated with rape and pedophilia accusations, it was nice to have some drama about a woman plunging a clenched fist into a gaping pussy. You got. Man, oh, if only he knew that two years later there'd be even more allegations with like everyone ever. The usual suspects. Hassan. Carl Marx. Fuck Carl Marx. He's a big fucking faggot pussy. Pokemon. Just, uh, no, like, no special weirdo. <laughs> XQC <laughs> And even after the embarrassing controversy a year ago, Twitch streamers have still not grasped the basic nuance of fair use and copyright. It's Anything negative it, about transformative is subjective. About her and she's copyright Guys, them, transformative and is subjective. Everything is fair use if the copyright holder doesn't care about pursuing a DMCA claim. Be smart. Don't watch entire movies, Viacom Disney shit, or new episodes. And stop snitching. It's nice to see- How, how is it snitching if it's not illegal? Right. I don't I don't understand the thought process here. It whatever. 
the consistency coming from Hassan. You don't see it often from him. Please don't steal my content, guys. That would be so terrible. Definitely don't upload my entire VODs to YouTube. That would be so horrible. Now you should be a Twitch billionaire. See the final product. I'm sure you've already heard the tragic news. You might still be in tears about it. I'm not really here just to reopen the wound and pour salt in it, but I think it's important we talk about what's going on. Last night, Pokimane was banned from Twitch. She was Man, I love how I'm literally in the same spot on a video calling this out. That's so funny. Banned for launching Avatar The Last Airbender on- What was that, Hassan? <laughs> to be fair, though, uh, I think generally people don't have a problem with the reaction channels or, you know, reaction videos, whatever you want to call it, as long as they're actually interacting with the content. I think that's one of the big reasons people have such a problem with Hassan when it comes to this, is one, a lot of the stuff that he does, he, he's, he's not even there. Like, again, you got the chair here, where he's literally not even there, right? Like, if, if I just let this play and then just walked away and then uploaded basically Big Bungie's video completely with just my empty chair down here in the background i i can understand why people would be pissed off and then another thing that a lot of these people do especially in the twitch ones is that they don't even interact with it right you'll see a lot of them they'll they'll be gaming a little bit and then they'll start bringing up youtube videos and you know for like the reaction part of their stream or whatever and they're not reacting to it they're just like eating their food while they're watching it and they're, they're not doing anything they're not interacting with the content in any way they're not commentating on it right it's um yeah which it, it, that that's kind of the thing with when it comes to fair use is one, it has to be uh, constructive. I, I can't remember the exact terminology they use on YouTube, but I have to go into the, the guidelines again to check it out. But um, the, YouTube specifically allows reaction videos, but they, they have like certain things like it has to be constructive. Um, I can't remember, the, there's another key term that they use and I can't remember what, it, what it, the exact wording is. Uh, transformative is another one, but they there, there's another one after that. But basically, it means that you have to be, you can't just play it and sit there like a fucking drone and not do anything, right? You have to be commentating on it in some way or another, or it's just considered a re-upload. And even on top of that, with YouTube, if somebody doesn't like you doing it, they can, well, there's multiple things they can do. One, they can copyright claim it uh, so that they get all the ad revenue. They can copyright claim it so that they get shared revenue, uh, or they can send a copyright strike, which if you don't respond to within seven days... Uh, then it'll take the video down and strike your account for 90 days. And if you get three strikes within that 90-day period, then you your account just gets deleted, right? Um, so it, ha it has to be transformative. And even then, it's only allowed if the creator either explicitly allows it or just doesn't care enough to go after you, right? Um, so... Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird because I think YouTube wants they, – they understand that's a popular genre, popular subgenre, but also because of the way the copyright laws exist, they know that, like, if, if somebody decides they don't want it, then it becomes problematic. But I've only had a handful of channels uh, ask me not to react to their stuff. Um, most people just don't seem to care, but, yeah. Also, that probably helps that I'm actually commentating on it instead of just, you know, not, just not, not even sitting there but just having my chair there. What was that? What did you say? That's a good insight. That's a clever insight. I'm glad Hassan is here watching this video with me. If you're so befuddled with fair use, Hassan, why don't you just ask your old buddy old pal Ethan Klein on it? He's he's a fair use expert after all. He actually called out Soflo Antonio for stealing other people's content and then profiting off of it. Centralized in this case is a nice word for stealing. If you take a look at Vine Gag's Facebook page, they are proud of the fact that they steal people's vines and they never give anyone credit. And this page is just dime a dozen. If you spend 10 minutes looking on Facebook, you'll find a hundred of these. So I'm sure he could tell you if this is fair use or not. He also tweets out, Twitch streamer plays music, DMCA takedown. Twitch streamer plays movie, DMCA takedown. Twitch streamer plays YouTube video. That's fair use, bro. Ethan Klein So the, the thing with this is, yeah, so it's, um, f f there is a certain amount of subjectivity to fair use, but the thing is, when it comes to uh, the music industry or, you know, movies, right, like Hollywood, they they have automated systems. And, uh, so it, it depends on exactly which studio slash uh, 
corporation you're talking about, but a lot of them have automated systems that automatically claim this. Some YouTubers actually have this too. If they're big enough YouTubers, they'll have the higher companies do this for them where it automatically claims it. Uh, and there's actually been some issues with, um, I can't remember the name, oh fuck, uh, oversimplified. So he, ha he ha had a contract, I can't remember the exact details of this. So he had a contract with somebody who was supposed to do this for him. And, but he said, he's explicitly said it multiple times that he doesn't mind reaction videos. He thinks they're interesting to watch himself, so he doesn't care when people react to his stuff. But this company keeps claiming reaction videos, so he stopped associating with them, and they were still claiming videos on his behalf, and, it's some, and it's sometimes even striking channels on his behalf. And he had this whole uh, interaction, for lack of a better term, where he was trying to disassociate himself with them and trying to, like, that they just kind of like refused to and it was a whole issue but yeah the thing is it's the, the fair use there is a certain amount of subjectivity to this but technically if the, the if the the original uploader assuming that they have no copyrighted content in it themselves decides that they want to either claim it to get all the revenue claim it to get shared revenue or want you to take it down they have the right to do that right it is their content Video. That's fair use, bro. Ethan Klein responded to this tweet with, fair use doesn't exist, dipshit. <laughs> I was gonna what? say. Because it's normal. I mean, look, it's normal to walk away uh, when you're fucking uh, alive for 10 hours. You know what I mean? Don't stream for six hours then. Stream for four hours or two hours. Or better yet, don't stream at all. I saw the pin, uh, I saw the pin comment. It says, Son, if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos if proper credit is given. However, please don't just dot dot dot. Let them play as filler dot dot dot. Sitting there and saying very little dot dot dot. And just having lunch dot dot dot. Or leaving the room. Like, come on, man. I'm fine with react content. It just requires a substitute or significant reaction. Proper credit. Oh, don't know if I could pull that one off, Chief. Oh, that was like four words. Oh, just like scrolling down and reading the channel name before the video. Oh, well, I'm not sure I can manage that. I'm going to have to like hire some interns and shit to do that. And yeah, I don't <laughs> fucking pay them. I can't believe they actually streamed the entirety of Hunter x Hunter and thought that that would be fair use. Actually, I can believe that XQC would think that. Transformative <laughs> is subjective. But he does respond to some of... So XQC is not wrong about that. There is a certain amount of subjectivity to... Uh, you know, uh, transformative and fair use and copyright and all this stuff. That's why there's always legal cases going on with both sides arguing their side. But yeah, just streaming it while you sit there eating lunch, not commenting anything on it, is very, very obviously not going to fly in any court as uh, as fair use. But also, XQC is kind of known for being retarded, so I think I would not be surprised one. But the thing with Hassan is Hassan is like just a very dishonest person. Right, I actually think you know, there's always this argument about like is Hassan retarded or dishonest. I think he's just a dishonest guy. I think he's a lot smarter than he lets on. Um, I think he's just very dishonest. When it comes to XQC, I think XQC is generally a well-intentioned idiot. Like <laughs> that's kind of, to be fair. I don't watch his stream a lot, so maybe I'm wrong here. But the the things I've seen from him, generally he seems to be like a a well-intentioned good guy who is just like very clearly not the brightest. Whereas Hassan, I get the exact opposite vibe from him. I think there's certain things where he definitely has no fucking idea what he's talking about, and you can see that with like the commentary he'll do on certain things. But generally, I think a lot of the the stuff with Hassan, where he has like these awful takes, is just him being dishonest or disingenuine because he has a certain political agenda that he wants to push, which I don't even think is the political agenda that he does push. I think I've talked about that before, but I think he's more of a, uh, if you look at his worldview when it comes to how Turkey should act versus how the West should act, I think he's an, Imla an Islamist LARPing as a socialist. Um, but that whole thing aside, uh, yeah, I think Hassan's just dishonest. I think XQC is a, you know, a well-intentioned idiot. But when G's tweet saying, aren't we supposed to watch shit on Prime Video to avoid DMCA stuff? When it comes to full episodes slash movies, I mean. XQC responds by saying, the feature is decent, but it alienates viewers from other countries and people without Prime. Unless you one-trick Prime watch parties, it's a channel suicide if done regularly. Also makes me feel horrible for people who tune in and are paywalled. This is just- I actually didn't even know you were allowed to do this. So you're allowed to watch shit on Prime? I guess that kind of makes sense if you're watching it on Twitch. That's interesting. Fucking ape. This is just a shaved ape on a keyboard. They trained an ape to play Overwatch. Extra <laughs> vanilla gorilla shave. Look at him. 
they look the fucking same. These are the top streamers. That's how you know Twitch fucking sucks. All of the top streamers have so little entertainment value that they have to stream other people's content. You can't entertain these fuckers? There's 60k people watching a fucking chair, and you can't entertain them? Hey, if you're a fan of one of these Twitch streamers, uh, here's some content you might enjoy. That's that a, was a pain try. that one. The next Twitch meta is going to be Pokemane reacting to another Twitch streamer, live reacting to another Twitch streamer actually doing something. The, man, you know what's funny? He jokes about that, but that's basically what the Twitch meta is now. If you look at like all the most popular streamers, a, lo a lot of them, it's like you'll have somebody makes a video, then somebody does a YouTube reaction to it, then some political streamer, will live react to that reaction and then another streamer who's like somewhat vaguely associated with them but not very political will react to that and then another political streamer will react to the reaction to the reaction to the reaction and it, it's yeah you have like it, it's so fucking dumb but it, i mean it is what it is Honestly, this is why like people always ask me like to react to videos while i'm streaming and this is why i don't do it one I'd much rather just play games when I'm streaming. Um, and two, uh, because I stream through a restream, you YouTube is actually, it's kind of funny. YouTube has a way better system for this. So with, with YouTube, if I upload a video, right? Like I'll, I'll take this video and I'll upload it, right? The, the one that I'm making right now. The, it will send uh, Big Bungie a notification. And then if he wants to uh, claim the revenue for this, or he wants to share the revenue for this, or he wants the video taken down, he can then do that. But when you're live streaming, they'll if, if you have copyrighted content for even like a short amount of time, like I remember one of the first streams I did where I had copyrighted content in it, um, it, it was somebody asked me to check out this mu music, this just some random song. I was like, okay, I'll check it out. I was like maybe 30, 40 seconds into the song and my fucking, uh, my YouTube went down and I had to restart the stream, right? It's literally just shut the stream down and blocked the video. Um, and then another time that was actually kind of funny, I got a 30-day ban for it. Luckily, I appealed it right away, and within, like, two hours, they'd undone my ban. Um, but I was playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and in the opening the opening part of the of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, they have, like, a bunch of scenes from the anime. And I got copyrighted claim for the anime, and it, it, it fucking instantly shut down my stream and blocked my cha uh, channel for 30 days. But luckily, I, I appealed it, and they within uh, like two hours, maybe they undid it. But yeah, it's if you. It, this is why I don't uh, do stream reactions, is because I stream on YouTube, and uh, yeah, you'll instantly get shut down for it. But it's but Twitch doesn't seem to give a fuck, right? They they don't do anything until they get you know a massive lawsuit, and then they're just like, oh yeah, we'll just kick this onto the streamers or whatever. It's so fucking stupid. But yeah, uh, the funny thing is, this had like very little to do with Pokemon. I mean, I guess he kind of talked about her. Uh, for a little bit at the start, but this is mostly just shitting on a song, which I'm here for. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.